Would you endorse the end of shootouts in favor of more entertaining overtimes again? Absolutely. I would extend the overtime period another three minutes. Now, here's the pushback you're going to get from that. Star players are basically in the five minutes of OT, like nearly the entire time. You're obviously three on three, but you really only have like three or maybe four trios to send out there. So you're down to 12 players. Realistically, you're down to your top nine players. Sometimes only six players re really get in there for a healthy chunk of time of those five minutes. And it's nonstop. It's back and forth. There's so much skating. It's open ice. I just think that the shootout was such a novelty to get rid of tie games. And the NHL at that point, they needed to get rid of tie games. It just wasn't working. And shootouts were supposed to be exciting. And it was the one-on-one -on -one aspect. But it's, it's honestly like a dunk contest. The more years this carries on, the more you realize that one team got two points, another team got one point based on a skills competition? We didn't even watch ho – hockey did not decide the result anymore. Think about that. When you watch a shootout, are you watching a hockey game conclude or did the game already end and now you're watching a skills showcase? It's a skills showcase. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm over the shootout. Yeah. Now, I would love to see OTs go a little bit longer, but what if even eight minutes of OT could not produce you a result? Then what do you do? Or do you just say, hey, here's 20 minutes of three on three. Knock your socks off. I just think that, you know, the, the PA, the NHL PA is going to look out for its star players and say, well, wait a second. You've had somebody already skate, you know, 24 minutes, 25, a, a defenseman, you know, close to 30 minutes maybe in a night, and now you want them to play three on three for another eight, ten, and they're going to log another seven, six minutes of ice time? It's the star players? That's what the fans are going to want. That's what I want as a broadcaster. That's what I want as a fan. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know who likes... I don't know who likes the shootout. Who really, who comes to a game and says, I hope we see a shootout tonight. I really would like to see that. Now, granted, if, you know, you've got a Connor McDavid getting a shot chance or, you know, there are known commodities that are like, that are, they're showstoppers in the shootout. But does anybody go to see a goalie in a shootout? They're like, oh, I, I really want to see Kapo Kakinen in the shootout tonight. That's what I'm hoping to see. What? What you do want to see is, you know, a two-on-one rush going this way, great save, and they go the other way, great save, and they come back this way, and they score. Like, that's what you came to see, and that's what you get in overtime. So, yes, um, if you're going to remove the shootout, definitely extending three-on-three -three longer gives you more chance to end the game. It's kind of like baseball, putting a runner on second to start every half inning after the ninth. You still might have a 14th inning, but honestly, in the last couple of years, I we barely ever we I don't think we've seen a 12th, 9th. You get into the 10th, maybe sometimes into the 11th. I don't even yeah I don't know that the A's who I cover I don't know if we've hit a 12th inning since since 2019. So I would definitely endorse it, but we got to figure out a way that overtime can't go. You got to put a cap. Sorry, yeah, you have to put a cap on overtime. If you're going to end the shootout, you got to figure out what to do next.